Your Puppetry Making Workshop with recycled objects. I'm so happy that you're here. My name is Desi Rasti, and I'm really, really happy to have you. For today, you will need bottle caps. Uh, you can get them from your milk or from any soda, any plastic bottle. We're gonna want to recycle this for the feet of our puppet. Uh, we will need, uh, we can use uh, Sharpies or crayons or paints, empty toilet paper rolls. You can get this wacky ice in the 99 cent store, or you can draw them yourself. Be creative. This is the space of being really, really creative with what you have. Uh, some construction paper. It can be very small or, or color paper to cover our uh, roll of toilet paper. Or you can also paint it or draw it. You, it's either or. And cord to make the arms and the legs of our characters, right? Ta -da -da! So we want to create these little friends. They are 100% made from recycled things that you can find easy in your home, that you can get easily. This activity is planet-friendly, budget-friendly, and eco-friendly. <laughs> And uh, what we want is for our puppets to have a particular emotion. So this puppet is happy and this puppet is surprised. So what other emotions could you think of? Perhaps sad or perhaps angry or perhaps worried, right? So let's get started with the making process. Okay, so now that we have our materials, I chose this black sheet because I want to do something uh, in particular with my character and uh, I chose the yellow one. Uh, with the help of a grown-up you want to make a little hole. I'm gonna use this this knife um, but parents please help your children to make a little hole, uh, a round hole in your bottle caps. We are going to put this on hold for a second and what we're going to grab is our uh, glue. And I have here uh, a brush. Uh -huh. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put some glue in my roller, in my empty toilet paper roller. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my sheet of paper and on the corner, I'm just going to paste it and paste it here and then roll it so that the paper covers the roller. And then on the other hand, I'm going to put on the edge, I'm going to put once more glue here. I'm gonna glue my paper and you can just cut the rest of the paper, right? To paste the rest of the thing. Mm -hmm. and there we go. And then this is where I use these little thingies here. They're very useful to hold the paper in. Here we can make a cut and we can make a cut on the side and what you prefer you can push it inside right so to cover the roll completely or you can cut it however you decide to do it it is fine
one. So I'm going to pick up my little eyes that I bought in the store. However, you know, you, you don't need to have this little eyes. I think they give a little personality to the character, but you can also paint them. You just draw a circle and then you put a darker circle in the middle. So we're gonna add the eyes to our character and my, this character is gonna be sad. So um, use the color, the colors that you like for this activity. Okay, and then while this is drying, the little eyes, once we put them in with the blue, we leave it to dry and we can move forward with the next one. So this character, I am gonna give this character because it's a monster of feelings. I am gonna give this character five eyes. Oh, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. <gasps> gonna leave this monster of five eyes to dry and meanwhile I think I can grab my other character that it's a little bit more dry already and what I'm gonna do is I am gonna draw a mouth to it so I'm gonna grab my black crayon and you can do this with any crayon and any color that you like so I said that this one was gonna be the sad one so I'm gonna draw a mouth to my sad character. I, I am gonna give my character some hair. So what I'm gonna do for that is I am gonna grab a piece of the string that we have for the legs and and for, for our arms. And I'm gonna just cut little pieces. Bundle this up with a piece of tape. Grab a, a tiny piece of tape again, and I'm gonna paste the hair inside, inside my monster. I can remove this, this is ready. sad okay so I'm gonna remove this and I'm still drying the eyes of my other character which is still not dry because oh I put five eyes remember um and what I'm gonna do is with the help of mom and dad or or grandma or grandpa or an uncle or uh, an adult we are gonna make four little holes with a pen. So we're gonna mark where you want the, the, the arms and the legs of your little monster to go. So I'm gonna do this and this, and then I am gonna go and open a little hole and hold on the other side so it doesn't break without hurting yourself. And then what is going to happen here is that I'm going to cut a tiny piece of thread. Well, not a tiny piece, uh, 
a piece of thread, let's say like this size, and you pass it through the holes here. It is a little bit challenging uh, while doing it from one side. From one side is easy to go in, but from the other side to pass it in the middle and then thread it to the outside. It might be easier to put your finger inside, hold the thread, and where the hole is, and then help yourself with the pen to put the thread outside. So here is my, my thread, my cord. There we go, and now you can pull it. There you go. So I'm gonna aim to do my arms equal, a little bit equal, right? And then you start doing little knots. And uh, you, if you are very good at knots, then you can do it yourself. Or if not, you can ask a parent or a, a family member or an adult to help you make some knots. And the knots are gonna be our hands, our monster's hands. So now I am going to add the legs. So what I'm gonna do here is again, once more, I'm gonna cut a piece of string and I'm gonna cut a second piece of string of the same size of the other one. And what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass it through the little hole that we created in the bottle cap. We go and it's on the other side and then we're gonna also make knots so that it doesn't come out it doesn't come out of our of our bottle cap it stays there and these are gonna be the shoes of our monster we're gonna remove the excess there we go and there you can see that it doesn't longer come out and we can put it inside the opposite side we're putting in the hole that we already made and for this you can help yourself with a pen with the help of the pen to push it in mm -hmm. and you can grab it from the other side and from the opposite side uh, wherever you want the legs to be make sure to cut the excess of the rope or make your knots closer to the leg so that you don't have extremely long legs or perhaps your monster has very 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 long legs and that's totally cool too Okay, all right. So what happened to our our monster that is waiting on the other room, our five-eyed monster that is going to be scared? And what I'm going to do with, also with Jojo, is that I am going to make him a hat. So I am going to put some, a little bit of glue on top of my roll, like this. Just, just on this, um, following the line, not inside, just here. And with this, with the excess of the page, I am going to put it on top as a hat right with a little bit of space in the corners i want it to be a special hat
And here is where the fun begins. You can create a story with these characters. You can give, create them a home with a cardboard box, decorate their room, however you think they, they live. What do they have in the walls of the room? Or how, what is the color of their bed and how they relate to one another? So Marshmallow is very happy today. And Sugar is surprised. So Marshmallow, why are you so happy? I am surprised that you are so happy. Oh, well, it's because today it's my birthday. Oh, I'm sad because it's not my birthday today, but I am happy. I am excited and sad that it's not my birthday, but, but, but I love you and I wish you happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so Petunia needs a hat too. And here she has hair. So perhaps what I'm gonna do is cut a piece that is slightly different to the round piece that I used for the other characters and paste it in the middle. Okay, so Petunia is going on the side to dry up her beautiful flower. And I am going to bring our friend Jojo, the elegant monster, to the room. Da -da 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 -da. Give them a name and an emotion, and perhaps you can make Petunia feel better, or perhaps you can understand why Sugar is so surprised, and perhaps ask Jojo why is he so scared. Thank you so much for being part of the workshop of puppetry making with recycled objects.